Hello, welcome back. My name is Ray. I'm some guy at random.la and we are continuing building an NBC Entity Framework web project using MonoDevelop. This is where we are right now. So let's take a, a look at what our application is looking like. And in this particular episode, basically all I, all I want to do is add a views details page. Oh add a view detail page and sort of do some cleanup. One of the things I need to still need to get rid of this. When I go over here to list, um, I like this table to look nicer, but I also like this tab to be the one that's active. So let's get underway here. Um, to take care of those first two concerns that we had, we'll go over here to the home index shared part and get rid of this link here. That's basically what we want to do and save that and of course once we do that we really don't need this test edition so we'll get rid of this and goodbye um, we'll be working on this in fact since we're here this is sort of describe what I want to do here I want to populate a person given this ID that will be coming in and by the way this ID is case sensitive I put the first case uppercase to my liking just in case you run into that problem and we will set the person to the ID well I'm repeating myself to the ID it's coming in using the find um, method on the people DB uh, context and once we get that person we will return that person to the view Let's do some um, trapping around this. What happens if the ID is null? Because it ha I have the question mark here. Well, if it's null, we'll just redirect back to the index. And if we can't find a person, uh, for right now, we'll use HTTP can't, um, not found. OK. This seems to do pretty good. Let's add a view. And the view is going to be details. It's going to be a razor view, no templates. It'll be strongly typed to the um, person model. And of course, it has the master page, which is the shared page, the layout page. Hit OK. And it makes the page over here, but it doesn't pop it open. So let's pop it open. And there it is. As I mentioned before, I sort of like to use this convention, um, the at using. And I take this part over here, OK? This allows me to shorten this to just person. OK, save that. And um, we were talking about making adjusting the tabs. Let's sort of do that. Let's go over here to the index. Um, if I add a function in here, if I build a function in here, um, let me. I need a script tag. Actually, we'll do this. If I have something like this, where I've opened a script and I say, "This is a function set activity." In the end, basically, what I want to do is I want to have this function run in the layout so if I go here to the bottom and close that up and add the function you come back over here to this layout set active tab oops go over here what will happen is when the home view is rendered up here it'll declare this function set active tab and then when the when the page finishes loading at the very bottom it'll run the function set active tab pretty simple let's save this um, let's copy this function over to the other details uh, right over here at the very bottom of this and here, in this case, it's called person, right? So that should sort of work. 
The other thing that I want to address on this page is we said that the table looked ugly. So if we bring that up again, this table looked ugly. So let's fix that. Bootstrap has a class that makes tables look nice. It's called table. Control save. Um, let's stop this and let's run this again. Run this with the Monosoft debugger and see how we've come. We got rid of the link. Uh oh, home didn't show up. And list. Did this work? So this is not working. What's why is my JavaScript not working? Let's go back over here and find out. So we're doing set active tab. I'm active over and I'm removing the class active. Let's go over here. Set active task. There's the class active. Oh, we need to put IDs on here. <laughs> this ID will be home. And this ID will be person. Save that. So now it has a handle to those IDs. So I just could refresh the page. Let's refresh this because it's just a UI change. And we see that the list is active. And so is the home. So far, so good. These links, as you look at the bottom left, point correctly to the details but details has not been created so let's do that we'll stop this and here's a details page actually they have been corrected uh, but we want to put something into the details page that um, we can display the user information so I have this table that I created and pretty much it's using the HTML helper tags display name for and display for display name for basically gives you the name of the field that um, that it's called display for and actually we will we'll be able to modify this but we're going to use default names first display for tells me the value of the field and it also does some um, clean up if there are escape characters or that need to be addressed. So let's save this. And let's go over to this page. Well, I guess because, yes. So we'll reload this. And I should build it. <laughs> Run with Monosoft Debugger and see where we are today. Okay, so here's our home page. Here's our list page coming through. And when we click on the view, we have the details. If we go back, that was for one, and this is for two. So that's as far as I, I know this is a pretty short tutorial this time around. But um, that's as far as I want to go today, or for this one. Talk with you later.